Hey guys, I'm pretty psyched for this video. If you didn't see the title, I did get the new iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil and the Apple Folio case. Now that we have established that I have no self-control, let's just get to unboxing. Going into further detail, I got the 11-inch iPad Pro. Visually, this box is gorgeous. I appreciate the abstract art style Apple has been introducing along with their new products. Right on top, we see the iPad Pro. Apple offers two color choices, silver and space gray. I went ahead and got the silver one. Aside from the iPad, the box is pretty empty. It comes with 18 watt wall adapter. And for iPad Pro, Apple has decided to forgo their usual lightning cable and shift the USB-C cable. I'm not sure if this means Apple is going to just get rid of their lightning cables entirely, but it looks like they're thinking about it. Maybe, I don't know. Continuing on, let's take a look at the iPad in closer detail. This thing feels and looks so thin. Weight-wise, it's also not that either. As I said, this is the 11-inch display. There's a bigger one, 12.9-inch version, but I've got fairly petty hands, so I didn't think I would really need that much screen to carry around. Looking at the physical details, we see the power button on the top, the volume buttons on the side, and there are four speakers. Two on top, and two on the bottom. Below the volume buttons is this dark spot on the side of the device, which is the charging area for the Apple Pencil, which I do have. We'll play around with that in a bit. I would like to mention that this iPad Pro does not have headphone jack. It also doesn't come with the dongle. Let's turn on the iPad. This 2018 iPad Pro does have single 12 megapixel back camera and 7 megapixel front camera, which is the same megapixel you get with the iPhone XS. The front camera also allows for the Face ID capabilities. It's actually very neat seeing this amount of details on such a large display. The lightning in here isn't that great, but you could probably take a beautiful photographs with this. Also, you can stick your iPad onto the fridge and you can just play with it. The magnets will keep your iPad attached to it. Let me introduce this second generation Apple Pencil while we're here. Inside the box is a packet of dry reading and the Apple Pencil. This accessory is connected wirelessly, so there isn't need for anything else. The Apple Pencil has this body that fits nicely in the hand, and the length is good enough to maneuver without any trouble. The flat edge on one side controls the double tap feature and makes the pencil generally easy to hold. The magnet that holds the pencil to the iPad is fairly strong, so I don't think there's a huge worry about detaching with normal pressure. Now, I'm not much of an artist myself, but I do think people who like to illustrate might find this pencil to be an easy to use stylus. Of course, it's also useful if you take a lot of notes or just enjoy that old school handwriting sensation. While the pencil did run very smoothly on the naked screen of the iPad, you can pick up the matte screen protector or something similar to mimic the sensation of drawing on actual paper for that satisfying scratch and scroll. The Apple Pencil isn't included with this purchase, but I don't see why you still shouldn't pick one up with this iPad. They were pretty much made for each other. I also grabbed the pink Smart Folio for this 11-inch iPad Pro. The folio is attachable by magnets, so there is an actual physical case you would have to snap the iPad into. The back cover does add a bit of bulk, but it also gets rid of that issue with the camera bump on the back. The smart case detects when you open and close the front flap, and your iPad will turn on and off accordingly. Overall, depending on your lifestyle, this is a great laptop alternative. I'll see how much use I get out of it on a day-to-day basis, the Photoshop app is supposed to come out soon, so that's one thing to look forward to. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!